Hello, beautiful Taurus. How are you today? Hope everyone's doing well through this Mercury retrograde. Let me know in the description box what you are experiencing right now. This is setting the intention for your reading, for the reading for love for this week. Sacred Forest Oracle, and it is by Denise Lynn. Let's see what your intention is. Let's see. Power, dragon power. Nice. We have Activation, Spirit Guardian, and Spring. So this is very much about growing in love. And tickets of Thicket of Thorns, Uncertainty. So in some regard, you're feeling uncertain at this time, Taurus, as to the exact path your love will take. But we're going to jump in here. We're going to do this card spread and then one following it, which will be just about your love interest, their thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions. So this is a two-part reading. So let's see what we have here. Okay, so bottom of the deck energy is moving forward slowly, steadily, methodically for the win. Look at that, Empress energy. So that is your overall energy is moving forward. So let's see what we have here for you in love. Ooh, the world card. Having a very, very successful cycle completing, moving on to the next level, leveling up in love. The temperance card, Sagittarius energy. So the world card is Aquarius. Sagittarius energy, all about a possible reconciliation. You know, the feeling of uncertainty about whether you will. The energy of the High Priestess. You may be attracting a Cancer, a Sagittarius, or Aquarius, or Virgo. What we see here is this energy of keeping to yourself, manifesting quietly, nurturing a relationship or a connection along to the next level. Oh, the Ace of Cups, new love coming in. Again, a brand new opportunity to have growth. We have the two of coins. You're going to have two different love opportunities coming in. The ten of wands. You're leaving the burdens of the past behind. Taurus, good. We have this beautiful Virgo energy again. This is Sagittarius energy. Two of coins is Capricorn and the water sign energy. The eight of coins is really speaking to the fact that you want to get to know somebody much better. You'd like to move the relationship forward to the next level with them. And the three of wands. Your ship has arrived in the harbor, Taurus. And the four of cups is you're not quite sure. You know, you're feeling like, yes, this is what I want, but it might not be everything I want. So we're going to clarify this reading for you and see about your love interest and how they're coming in. Because somebody is moving towards you quite steadily, Taurus. Nice. I always like Virgo energy with Taurus energy. It's very practical, very grounded. But you've had some difficulties. You know, the Ten of Wands says it's beautiful because you're really like letting the burdens fall away. And you're just wondering what's going on. Look at this. You are leveling up. Queen of Wands energy. The Aries Queen. You may be dealing with an Aries Queen coming in. That energy is very fiery, very passionate, very self-assured. And very much focused on wanting what they want. So the Queen of Wands is all about success, being successful in love. You know, the Queens are married. They want marriage energy. And we have your person coming in. It's being very focused on the Hierophant, traditional relationship, Six of Cups. This may be someone that you've known from the past because the Six of Cups is a reunion card. And with the Temperance card, it speaks very much to the fact that you want to have a new beginning with somebody that you know. So I like it. The energy here in the Temperance is really your person has not given up on this relationship. Your person is very much feeling as though 
they are still, you know, they're exhausted. They feel as though the two of you have had some trials and tribulations. Five of Swords, they feel as though they may have done something that hurt your feelings, for which you would have every reasonable um, judgment. You know, you'd be a very reasonable person if you didn't give them another chance, but they certainly are fighting for one. Six of Swords energy says that you and your person move forward. Aquarius energy. And the Four of Coins, your person's not going to let go. The Seven of Swords says that they will do whatever they have to do. To get you back and i don't really like that energy because it speaks to the fact that they may have lied to you in the past about something and that now they have to overcome that obstacle the eight of swords though looks as though they're not really speaking about it so let's see what the cancerian energy is so you need to really be careful of this person because they want you very very much and they feel determined to have you and they want to level up and i feel as though this person for many of you really loves you but they definitely feel as though they were not on the same page with you you have the world card here also right the world card and it's clarified by the world card in terms of what's happening right now in the energy between the two of you your person wants to level up but they don't want to talk about some way that they hurt you that needs to be healed because the five and seven of swords means that they weren't uh they didn't treat you exactly as they should have it looks as though they were not necessarily completely forthcoming with what they wanted and maybe took advantage of you so let's see why we have the empress card here the empress they real excuse me the high priestess <laughs> And so the high priestess is somebody, your person puts you on a pedestal. They think that you're unique, you're one of a kind, and it doesn't seem like you're speaking to them. The Ten of Swords says that you really have put a fork in this. You walked away. You did it with great clarity, but they are pursuing you anyway. The Moon card also speaks to the fact that you know, you, you don't understand where your person's coming from and you no longer care. The chariot card says that you are rushing towards a beautiful relationship. You may suspect that they had a third party and the justice card Libra energy is all about just leveling up and leaving things alone that don't suit you, making a very much a head over heart decision. But when we see this Ace of Cups energy, ah, it's clarified by the Ace of Cups. That's crazy. Crazy good. So you do have new love coming in for you, Taurus. You feel as though, you know, you're going to have a new beginning in love. Ace of Coins, a substantial love offer coming in. Right now, Taurus, you feel as though you have an opportunity for two different lovers. And you're going to take that opportunity. I see this strength card, fire in your belly. Idea, I feel as though you may have a Leo coming in to really, you know, really make a substantial offer. The Ace of Coins is always a substance, is a great subst substantive offer. The Ace of Coins shows up oftentimes when we look at engagements. Somebody wants to be on bended knee. Somebody wants to, um, you know, make a proposal to you. And the Ace of Coins typically is an engagement engagement ring when with the three of cups it, that's how we signify engagement and the tarot cards at least in my old school methodology of tarot so we see that the energy your person has this leo energy is coming in as someone who's going to invest i feel like the person from the past you're just letting go of them i'm seeing you letting go of someone who this person who was a burden may have been a scorpio king tell us more about that burden that you're releasing I also see this as an energy that's about your ability to overcome the odds. You know, the when we see this Ten of Wands card, you're giving up on things that just can't work. You're navigating your own ship right now. You're very calm, cool, and collected. And the energy is that you are looking for your happiness and you're not going to be satisfied until you get it. The star card, hopes and dreams for love are coming true. And I feel like very much again, this strong Leo energy. I feel as though you're in the king of uh, cups energy, being very resilient, knowing how to master your emotions 
and moving into a future with this person because we have the fool card a new beginning with a new love someone who is going to stick around they play the long game when we see that strength card we see somebody with strength with courage with determination to come in and even though you may feel very vulnerable right now we see this strong activation spirit guardian of spring activating this relationship and protecting you so it's quite lovely the eight of coins energy is the hidden energy right now that you're, you're you want to get to know the person that you plan on making a relationship with your ships have come in so you are soon if you haven't met this person already you are about to meet them over the next few months is what i'm getting if you haven't met them already this is a predictive reading so it's not if it doesn't resonate it's something that can happen in the future the four of cups says that you're a little bit bored the temperance card says that you are not going back to that person who lied and wants to level up you are not doing it the emperor card says that you are being very strategic about your love life beautiful energy taurus that is aries energy and you have the aries queen so spirit is advising you to make a good choice and to let go of toxicity the three of wands is making that good choice making a choice with a person who did not leave you out in the cold with somebody who is not trying to control you and with somebody who is not aloof make a head over heart decision here and it does show that this person will probably promise you the sun moon and stars but you're going to have the sun moon and stars without them ten of coins energy is the energy of a legacy relationship and that is what spirit is suggesting don't put up with any nonsense you know move slowly good okay so we have repetition so your energy coming into the reading is to be very very much concerned about day-to-day -day life with someone who's very honest who's willing to do the work strong Virgo energy really speaks to the fact that your person that is coming in with this Leo energy is very much about a spiritual connection and you know with the energy of really having the ability to fight for the relationship and wanting it knowing what to do knowing how to handle it so what do we have here this four of cups says that right now you're a little bit oh you know like okay who's coming along i'm looking back and i'm looking into my i'm looking back into the future <laughs> you're you're really reminiscing about the past and about the things that didn't please you you know you're all about uh, making your life happy but you are not in any rush you are looking at everyone and every opportunity from the standpoint of strength you're in this beautiful energy of the nine of pentacles that's you know really in it to win it it says that you're very independent that you're very strong by yourself and that you're not going to settle for any less than the best if you're going to have if you're going from the nine of coins you are stepping into going up to the next level with the ten of coins of legacy relationship the death card is on this old relationship will you will not go back to it and the energy is here the empress and the emperor beautiful divine energy making an offer in love you have an offer coming in so that's what we have for the basic reading for your Taurus. Very beautiful energy. Just really cutting out the toxicity that happened with someone in your life previously. So let's look and see what the energy is. The next reading or the next part of the reading is it's like a free extended. It's it's really spirit telling you what this new person, their thoughts, their feelings, their intentions with you and uh, what their actions will be. So this will be the new love coming in since you've already decided you're not taking someone from the past back, that that relationship was not one that you felt comfortable with. So let's see what we have. Okay. So your person's thoughts, feelings, and intentions, and actions, Taurus. Let's see what we have here. Okay, let's up the deck all right I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle the clarifiers for you just in case we need them 
All right, three shuffles for our beautiful Taurus friends. One more shuffle for Taurus in love. Okay, so let's see what we have. So this is your person's thoughts. Okay, so their thoughts, they want passion, they want excitement, your person wants to be, have a lot of fun with you, they want to enjoy life, you know, living the good life, they definitely want a marriage or commitment. The Libra energy is the seventh house of marriage, and so what we see is, is we, when we see the Justice card energy, we're seeing someone who's very passionately uh, committed to the idea of a long-term relationship with you. They see you as they're putting you on a pedestal once again. They see you as nurturing, as kind, as sweet. They just feel as though you're not a person who speaks a lot. And when you speak, you speak with authority. You mean what you say and you say what you mean. They see you, oh my gosh, in their heart space. They see you as highly desirable. They want you. They want everything about you. They see you as someone who dresses beautifully, who is beautiful, who is sought after. They feel in their heart space that you're the one. Add another coin and you have a legacy marriage. Honey, I'm home. Your person wants to rush towards you. They want to balance their emotions, but they have this intense passion. This is Cancerian energy, Cancerian energy. It's all about home life and nurturing and loving very deeply. And the Virgo energy is about being willing to do the work in their heart space. They are fired up and moving towards you. Taurus, that's great energy. We have the Nine of Cups. You are their wish fulfillment. They feel so happy when they're with you. It's joyful. They like to do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight. The Nine of Cups is all about the joy and the celebration of life. They want to introduce you to their friends, to everyone that they know. The Ace of Swords is that they have great clarity about what they want. They are moving steadily towards you, doing the works, you know, Monday through Sunday day there for you look at what they're walking towards your person is walking towards commitment i don't know what's going on this week but every reading i've done i've done the air signs this morning and now you're coming in with the same energy of a person who really intends to have a relationship with you that could become long term again two marriage very strong marriage energies and this beautiful passion two aces very powerful the outcome in terms of what they're actually going to do is they're going to make a love offer that will help the two of you transcend the past they want to leave they want romance with you but that's not all they want they're killing off the idea and they're they've left some old bad habits behind or some old habits they don't even have to be habits uh, but what we see is a person who very much wants to have rebirth their whole love life around a relationship with you that is the ten of cups the nine of cups to the ten of cups and that is their action that they're going to take. They're ending all connections with other people. They won't be dating around. They're definitely putting an end to that. They're focusing on you. And they are very strategic about what they want. They want the Ten of Cups with you, and they are not going to settle for less. So that is your reading, Taurus. I love this reading for you. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Send me a love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me how Mercury retrograde is affecting you, as well as, you know, whatever you have in terms of where you're from. Okay. Thanks so much.